What's up, everybody? Iraq the Red back with Gaming News Weekly, episode 25. Another week's worth of news. Thanks for checking it out. Let's start with our new releases from last week. First up, we've got Heavy Metal Machines. Came out for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on February 23rd. Now, this is a brand new well, it's new to consoles. It's been out for a little bit on PC. It's a free-to-play game, and it is a MOBA, basically, with some sports elements, um, but with cars. So um, it's 4v4 online, uh, battle cars with a ball. Like, it looks crazy. I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet. I just downloaded it today. Um, excited to check it out. I've heard good things about it. And uh, I, I, you know, I love uh, I love a good MOBA. I love a good car sports game. What's not to like about any of these things? So uh, hopefully I'll have some gameplay for you soon, a review. Um, or if you've already played it, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Next up, we had Persona 5 Strikers also come out February 23rd. This came out for PC, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. Now, this is the sequel to Persona 5, the very popular role-playing game. Uh, but this one is an action role-playing game with an all-new action battle system. Uh, it's still got the a lot of the things that you like about the battle system in Persona 5, or all the Persona games for that matter. But now, instead of the turn-based uh, gameplay, it's it's the action. It's an action fighting system. So looks really cool. It's set six months after Persona Five ended. A whole new story, um, and it's reviewing great. Right now, it's at an eighty-three on Metacritic, and and I'm hearing great things about it. So. Definitely, if you're a fan of this series, check it out. If you're a fan of action role-playing games, this is probably going to be a good one. All right, let's talk Minecraft. Minecraft Dungeons Flame of the Nether DLC came out for PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. This came out February 24th, and it is uh, a DLC. It's got six new missions, it's got new skins, and uh, you know a few new items, and all your minecraft dungeon awesomeness definitely check it out uh in addition to that there's also a free update uh with a new feature called ancient hunts uh now you basically you survive these ancient hunts to get top tier gilded gear so minecraft dudes and ladies go get it And last up, last week saw the release of Black Ops Cold War Season 2 for PC, PS5, Xbox X, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. This is, you know, it's a brand new season. It includes a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, we're talking new weapons, a whole new battle pass with new collectibles, new operators, new vehicles, new maps. Got a new zombie mode thing called Outbreak. A um, lot of content being released here. Excited to check out these new weapons, new operators, and a brand new zombie mode is always fun to watch. So uh, looking forward to, to seeing what this content actually looks like. All right, and that does it for our new releases from last week. So let's jump right in to our news of the week. One of the big chunks of news was BlizzCon 2021 took place. Bunch of new announcements coming out regarding all your favorite Blizzard games. Uh, first up, the big one. We saw the announcement of Diablo 2 Resurrected. Set to come out in 2021 for PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox X, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. It's coming out everywhere. Uh, it includes all the content from the Lord of Destruction uh, Diablo 2 game. And it includes the Assassin and Druid classes. So everything you love about Diablo 2 just with a fresh coat of paint. Now this is a... 
this is a remaster it's not a remake so basically it's just got your upgraded visuals same gameplay but now with uh 4k 60 frames per second on the pc ps5 and xbox x uh, includes cross progression so you could play on any of the systems and still have your characters set to level up uh, there's no couch co-op right now that's been announced, but it does have the original online features. So really cool announcement there. We had heard some rumors about it, but uh, great to see it actually uh, actually coming out and uh, excited to see what the re when the release date is because I am psyched. Uh, this is definitely a game for me. I'll probably get a Nintendo Switch and just play it like all day long. So... Um, yeah, hope to see you guys playing Diablo 2. We also got a little look at a cinematic trailer for Diablo 4. Now, not much information came out for Diablo 4 except this cinematic trailer. And in it, it showed off the new Rogue class. So if, if you're interested in that, definitely go watch the trailer. It was really cool. Done very well. Got me super excited for more information regarding Diablo 4. But, you know, we're just going to have to be patient and, and wait for this one um, because I feel like we're a ways out yet. We also got some new World of Warcraft news. Uh, the Chains of Domination patch is coming out, which will include new locations, new quests, new raid, new dungeon. And a whole bunch more. So uh, anybody playing World of Warcraft, check that out. Looks to be a lot of cool stuff happening there. They also announced a brand new Hearthstone expansion coming uh, soon that includes a whole bunch of new stuff. So um, anybody playing Hearthstone still, check that out. Lots of stuff to, to really change that game around. For me, though, the big announcement came when Jeff Kaplan took us on a deep dive into what to expect with Overwatch 2. Um, lots of new information. Still no release date. Definitely said not 2021, but they talked about new maps uh, for Rome and New York as far as the, um, the PvP game goes, uh, as well as a new character sojourn we got uh, more of a look at and then they talked about just experimenting with a lot of different things in the game to change the the pvp mode um adding passives and just really affecting the way each class plays now they want this to feel like a new game they want it to feel like there's a reason that it's not just an update or a patch that this is this is overwatch 2 so very excited to see what they come up with as far as the, the PvP competitive side of things. But um, in addition to that, they also talked about hero missions. Now, these are uh, separate PvP modes in which you can, for you to level up your characters and if you don't want to play the, the, comp, the competitive mode. So this is really cool. They've got, each one's got a little bit of a story to them and there's gonna be hundreds of them and it won't feel like a grind. So you could just play them over and over again, level up and you know, and still have fun. There's weather effects, day and night effects, very, very cool stuff. Um, there's also a campaign mode uh, that will center on stories for a whole bunch of the, the playable characters in Overwatch, so another really cool thing that's going to come with uh, with Overwatch 2. Very much looking forward to that. Um, hopefully, we'll get some more information soon. Jeff Kaplan did say that the plan is to just keep a steady stream of info coming out until the release. So, um, you know, keep an eye out for for more announcements regarding that. And next up, in a recent article on the PlayStation blog, Sony announced they are working on PSVR 2 for the PlayStation 5. Not much was announced as far as any specifics or any dates, um, but they did announce a few cool things. Basically, they're looking to build a better PlayStation VR 
better resolution, um, field of vision increased, better tracking, and all this with just one single cord as opposed to the many cords that uh, now are part of PlayStation VR. They're also introducing a new VR controller and they're planning on using the innovations from the brand new DualSense controller. Uh, so who knows, we'll, maybe we'll get some haptic feedback or those uh, the pressure sensitive triggers, which both things are super cool. So uh, again, very early on in this as far as announcements or any information. So definitely just keep your eye out for more info regarding that if that's something that uh, interested in checking out. I love my PlayStation VR, um, so I'll definitely be looking forward to a better version of it. GTA 5 is in the news again, this time regarding car thefts in Chicago. So in Chicago right now, carjackings are on the rise and Representative Marcus Evans Jr., the politician in Chicago, wants to ban violent video games thinking that that is the cause of the problem currently there is a bill that is that you cannot sell video games to people under 18 now he wants the bill to be amended to state that they cannot sell the games at all so very interesting the bill was just introduced so you know, it's very early on, and I honestly can't see this passing. But, you know, I've been surprised before, so we'll have to just wait and see um, if this would affect uh, more than just Chicago or more than just Illinois. I, I really don't know, but it's pretty crazy that we're back to blaming video games yet again. All right, and in a bit of surprise news, Star Wars Republic Commando was just announced to be coming out for the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 on April 6th. Now, this is a game from 2005, was out for PC and Xbox, uh, playable since 2018 on Xbox One via backwards compatibility. And now for the first time, it will be released on a PlayStation system and a Nintendo system. This is a very popular, it's a, it was a single player, tactical, first person shooter game. Uh, and it's been updated now with new modernized controls and slightly enhanced graphics. So definitely, if you're a Star Wars fan, chances are you've played this. I've never even heard of it because I've always been uh, a PlayStation kid. So uh, interested in checking this one out. It's only going to be $14.99 when it's released. Um, so definitely going on the list. And last up, I just wanted to throw this one in there because it looked awesome. This is a new game that was announced. It's called Kill It With Fire, set to come out to Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and mobile devices on March 4th. Uh, has been released for PC. This is its console release. And what it is, it's a first-person game where you're just hunting spiders. And it just, it looks ridiculous. It looks fun. It looks funny. Uh, definitely excited to kill a whole bunch of spiders with fire and weed waggers. All right, and that's it, folks. Another one in the books. Gaming News Weekly, episode 25, done. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next week. Thanks. Bye.